New at five, residents and local historians are upset. Part of an iconic property could get demolished and then that land subdivided. Channel 2's Craig Lucy went to the house known as the Pink Palace. It sits at the corner of West Paces Ferry and Tuxedo Roads. And Craig, the neighbors are fighting the plans that would change that footprint forever. Jovita, neighbors say that this right here is an architectural masterpiece that must be protected. And that includes keeping this sweeping lawn, which leads right up to the home, and keeping this home in one piece. The owner told me part of the home that he would like to remove is not original, and he says that there needs to be a balance between integrity and making this home more practical. You'll have the context of this beautiful place lost forever. No one will ever be able to see it again. Rodney Mims Cook doesn't live far from this historic 12,000 square foot buckhead home that his wife grew up in. It's known as the Pink Palace, designed by Neil Reed and Philip Trammell Schutze, the same architect behind the Swan House. She is so upset about it, she is not speaking to anybody about it. The Cook family is upset because the French owner who paid $4.3 million for the home filed this paperwork with the city of Atlanta. These plans show it would be subdivided into three lots, one of them on the sweeping front lawn. Finest Baroque building in this hemisphere. It will be lost forever. The context will be gone, and the entire country will be at a loss for this loss. According to these plans, this would be one of the property lines right here, which would create lot one. And you can see it runs right through that historic pool house, which they would have to tear down. He'll take off the back wing of the house in order to make it comply with zoning. I spoke with the owner over the phone who told me he doesn't plan on developing the lot in front of the mansion. And he said, quote, I sense that this property was perceived as a trophy and not as a home to live in. This is the reason it has been shamefully on and off the market over the past seven years. My first and foremost goal is to give this historical masterpiece its integrity back. I would think that Neil Reed and Philip Schutze would agree. Now, the owner went on to say, quote, concerning the land, the home could be humbled by sitting on a smaller lot, somehow hidden from West Paces Ferry. The owner plans to meet with the Cook family tomorrow morning. We, of course, will keep you updated here on Channel 2 Action News. Justin.